Welcome to the MP Street Wastewater Pumping Station Upgrades Municipal Class Environmental Assessment Virtual Public Information Center. The City of Brantford, with its consultant, has prepared this presentation in place of holding an in-person public information center, or PIC, recognizing the current COVID-19 situation. A downloadable copy of the material presented here is available on the City of Brantford's website, brantford.ca slash mpwps. This virtual PIC will present an overview of the MP Street Wastewater Pumping Station Project Background and Study Area, Municipal Class Environmental Assessment Planning Process, Existing Conditions Within the Study Area, Identification and Evaluation of Alternatives, including the recommended preferred solution, as well as preliminary mitigation measures and next steps for the project. The MP Wastewater Pumping Station is located at 33 MP Street and is an important component of the city's sanitary sewage system, sending wastewater to the wastewater treatment plant in the southeast part of the city. The lands surrounding the MP Street Wastewater Pumping Station are generally industrial with the exception of a few residential dwellings. The pumping station was originally built in the mid-1960s and several parts of the existing station are showing signs of aging. The recent City of Brantford Water, Wastewater and Stormwater Master Servicing Plan update has identified the need for increasing the capacity of the MP Street Wastewater Pumping Station in order to meet planned growth, including the areas within the city's new settlement area. The Master Servicing Plan also identified the need for an emergency storage tank at the pumping station to ensure that high wet weather flows are properly managed. A Municipal Class Environmental Assessment, or MCEA, is the process of determining what environmental impacts, if any, there will be during a project and identifying how to minimize these impacts. All municipalities in Ontario are required to follow this process. This project is following the Schedule B planning process, whereby the level of analysis includes first developing the problem and opportunity statement, followed by identifying and evaluating alternatives in order to establish a preferred solution. We are currently in Phase 2 of the MCEA process. The problem and opportunity statement is the starting point of an environmental assessment and sets the scope of the project. For this project, there is significant near and long-term growth expected within the city, and the city's recent water, wastewater, and stormwater master servicing plan update has identified the need to increase the capacity of the existing MP Street wastewater pumping station to meet planned growth to 2051. The capacity increase is specifically required to meet planned growth, including the areas within the city's new settlement area. The pumping station's available storage capacity is also insufficient to meet the desired emergency storage capacity. As part of the master servicing plan, it was recommended that the city complete upgrades to the pumping station, including twinning of wet well and the provision of an emergency storage tank. This environmental assessment process will establish a preferred solution for these issues in consultation with key stakeholders, review agencies, indigenous communities, and the public. Understanding the existing conditions within the area is needed in order to evaluate the potential alternatives and identify anticipated impacts. Baseline studies of the natural environment, including desktop species at risk and habitat screenings, ecological land classification, and field investigations, have been completed where project impacts are anticipated. As shown in the ecological land classification map, the study area is largely built up and does not contain significant natural heritage features in and around the MP Street Wastewater Pumping Station site. There is a potential for some species at risk habitat on the adjacent property to the east of the pumping station. There is one watercourse to the north and west of the MP Street Wastewater Pumping Station. This unnamed tributary of the Fairchild Creek is a first order stream within the Grand River Conservation Authority's regulated areas. No species at risk fish or mussels were identified through the background review of this stream. The riparian area, the area of vegetation that grows along the edge of the stream, is highly disturbed and dominated by invasive species such as garlic mustard and European buckthorn. 
The potential for impacts to archaeological and cultural heritage resources is also an important consideration when looking at alternatives. A desktop Stage 1 archaeological assessment report and cultural heritage screening are being completed for the study area. While the study area is largely disturbed, there may be areas that require a Stage 2 archaeological assessment during the design phase of the project. As shown in the figure, the study area also contains two built heritage resources. The first is a previously identified Heritage Register project located at 336 Henry Street. The second is a residential property located at 521 Elgin Street that has been identified as a potential built heritage resource. To address the problem statement, various alternatives for increasing wastewater pumping capacity were identified and considered. The first of two alternatives is to expand the existing MP Street wastewater pumping station. This alternative is referred to as upgrade existing MP wastewater pumping station on site. The second alternative involves siting and constructing a new wastewater pumping station at another location. This alternative is referred to as site new wastewater pumping station. The next slides will explain the alternatives in more detail. The first alternative aligns with the recommendations from the city's master servicing plan. This involves upgrading the existing MP Street wastewater pumping station, including twinning of wastewater pumping station wet well. This alternative also includes an emergency storage tank with a capacity of 3,000 cubic meters on the existing site. Implementation of this alternative requires a building expansion on the existing site, as well as constructing a twinned force main on MP Street that will connect from the wastewater pumping station to the Elgin Street trunk sewer. This involves temporary bypass pumping on MP Street while the twin wet well is constructed. A temporary working easement for construction from adjacent property owners is also likely required. The second alternative involves siting a new wastewater pumping station, including an emergency storage tank and new twinned force mains. Several possible site alternatives were explored. The site shown here, located at 37 MP Street, was selected for further detailed examination as it meets the minimum site size requirement. It is in close proximity to the existing pumping station and has the area of vacant land required for construction of a new wastewater pumping station and emergency storage tank. For this alternative, once the new wastewater pumping station is in service, the existing wastewater pumping station would be decommissioned. Decommissioning would require demolition of the existing station, including removal of all above and underground components. To identify the preferred solution, the two alternatives were assessed against various land use, technical, natural environment, socioeconomic environment, climate change, and cost-related criteria to determine which alternative had the least overall impact. A summary of the key findings from the evaluation are presented on this slide. As shown, the recommended preferred solution is to upgrade the existing MP Street wastewater pumping station on site. Upgrading the existing station avoids the need to purchase land, requires less tree and vegetation removal, and has a smaller carbon footprint due to less construction materials. This alternative has the shortest construction schedule, which allows the city to meet an anticipated 2023 in-service date. While upgrading the station compared to building a new station is less flexible in terms of process layout, the existing land area at the MP Wastewater Pumping Station is sufficient to construct the proposed works. Lastly, upgrading the existing MP Street Wastewater Pumping Station has significantly lower construction cost, an order of $6 million less compared to siting and building a new wastewater pumping station. As previously discussed, the preliminary recommended preferred alternative is to upgrade the existing MP Street wastewater pumping station on site. This would also require a temporary working easement from adjacent property. The figure on your screen shows the conceptual easements required around the existing station to build the emergency storage tank on site. This includes a temporary working easement from the adjacent property on the east side of the station. The city would also like to explore the possibility of purchasing this adjacent property in its entirety. This recognizes that additional land for emergency storage could be required, 
if the empty wastewater pumping station catchment area ever expands in the future. It would also allow the city the ability to ensure that incompatible land uses are not developed beside the station. Also, as discussed earlier, the upgrade of the existing pumping station will require temporary bypass pumping of sanitary sewer flows around the station during construction. This will likely require a temporary lane closure on Empey Street for several months. A temporary full road closure may also be required on Elgin Street to make the twin force main connection to the Elgin Street sanitary trunk sewer. The location of this connection is conceptually shown at the bottom of the figure on your screen. The need and timing of road closures will be confirmed during the design phase of the project. Additional project impacts are discussed in more detail on the next slide. Construction of the proposed works will have some additional impacts, which can be managed by implementing best practices. The key impact to the natural environment in any construction is the removal of vegetation and its effects on migratory birds. Any impacts to migratory birds can be mitigated by ensuring vegetation removals are completed outside of the nesting window of April 1st to August 31st. An additional assessment of the trees that require removal will be completed to identify the potential for bat species at risk habitat and recommended mitigation measures. Any vegetation identified for preservation through final site plans should be protected by fencing during construction and all disturbed areas will be restored to the agreed upon conditions. Potential for encountering contaminated soils and groundwater will be determined during the design phase. All excavated materials will be managed in compliance with current guidelines. The city will also consult GRCA to review the approach to bypass pumping in the area of the water course. Once completed, the Stage 1 Archaeological Assessment will confirm if a Stage 2 Archaeological Assessment is needed. There are no direct impacts anticipated to the built heritage resources where construction will take place. Odor controls will also be incorporated into the design of the proposed works, as required. As previously noted, temporary lane and full road closures will be required to implement the project. To manage these impacts, the city will prepare a traffic management plan and maintain access to existing businesses. Communication to emergency services, as well as local property owners and businesses along MP Street and Elgin Street, will be undertaken through notices prior to the start of construction. General project information and updates will also be provided through the city's website. The next steps for this environmental assessment include receiving comments from the public and incorporating them into the final evaluation of alternatives, confirming the preferred solution. We encourage you to provide any comments by completing and submitting a comment form. The submission date for your input is June 11, 2021. Following this, the project file report will then be prepared and made available for public review for 30 days. Any issues raised that cannot be resolved within the 30-day review period will be reviewed by the Ministry of Environment, Conservation and Parks, who will decide the appropriate course of action. If no issues are raised within the 30-day review period, the City can proceed to the preliminary and detailed design, approvals and construction phases of the project. Preliminary and detailed design will begin immediately after conclusion of the environmental assessment. Construction is expected to commence in spring 2022, with the upgraded station anticipated to be in operation in 2023. Thank you for viewing this presentation. To access the comment form and stay up to date on the project, we encourage you to visit the project website, brantford.ca slash mpwwps. Should you have any questions, please contact the city and consultant project managers as shown on your screen.